I'm doing more microphone experiments, so I'm back to the iPad's built-in microphone, and I'm going to compare two other microphones, the iRigCast, which we've already tried, that actually it sounds really good, it's nice and bassy, it just sounds richer, and it also sounds quieter, in the sense that there's no background noise or hiss. Uh, at the moment, if you just listen, there's a slight bit of hiss in this. The iPad does have quite a lot of hiss. So if I put in the iRig cast now, it instantly improves the audio. But um, it had me thinking. I had another microphone that I'd got, which was a, a little sort of capsule microphone designed for plugging into the iPad. And I have to say it didn't sound very nice at all. And I pulled it apart and it had this tiny little microphone insert in it which I can't actually get out now. Oh, there it is. Very small. And I wondered what would happen if I got a much bigger one. Uh, this one in particular. Where is it? This one which I got from Rapid Electronics, which I actually had lying around in my workshop. And it's uh, order number 35-0192. And that's Rapid Electronics in the UK. And I just thought uh, maybe the bigger microphone will sound richer again. So I took the original microphone off, soldered this one on with the connections the exact same way around, the one that goes to the case and the one that goes to the uh, out, I suppose you could say, the positive terminal. And then I resined it all in nice and secure and then I tested it and found that the polarity was wrong. That's quite annoying. So the microphone connection, which should go to the little positive and the ground, which should go to the case, I'm actually getting a connection from the microphone to the case and I thought, well, that's a bit annoying, but, you know, let's try it anyway. And here's what it sounds like. So out with the iRig microphone and in with this one. And that's my accidentally reverse wired microphone in now. And, uh, well, you guys can tell me what you think. I tried it and I thought it sounded even bassier than the iRig. Um, I thought it actually sounded pretty good. And it makes me think I'm going to have to get another of these connectors now and get the other microphone that I've got here, this one, and I'm going to have to wire it the right way around and see uh, if it sounds any better. Either that or I'll try picking the resin off this one. But um, that's... Uh, so far, I think the audio is improving greatly.